So, sorry, again, sidetracked. First video, please bear with me. So, what I realized, anyways, so I got started into SBSK videos, and that night that I discovered the channel, I saw they had a playlist on mental health issues. So, of course, I was curious. I went there, I saw a couple of videos. And finally, I came across Daniel's video. I don't remember his exact uh, condition or the title of the video, but I can add attack. Add attack. And, and please forgive me if this is wrong the way it comes across. Again, this is unfiltered, this is my first time. And clearly, I don't know how to express myself properly or get my thoughts across. I'm working on that. But basically, I saw how misunderstood he was. And clearly, you know, I could relate to his pain. And I cried a lot when I watched this video because I could relate to his pain. His is more visible than mine, but it's there. So, towards the end of the video, Daniel, I'm paraphrasing, I always say that because I really don't remember the exact words, but he basically says something along the lines that how he's always spent so much time in the darkness, in his, in his brain, in his head, constantly fighting the dark thoughts. That I could relate to. Because basically, a lot of my life, it's only been negative thoughts in my head, sad thoughts, not feeling loved, not feeling worthy, even though I've been able to overcome a lot of obstacles, achieve a lot of things that, say, maybe other people haven't or couldn't, even with my disability and with my issues, um, or even people without any disabilities over the normal family, you know, they still wouldn't do, but somehow I managed to pull myself together or out of the ground or out of all these circumstances on my own. But anyways, back to Daniel. So what what really got to me was when he said something along the lines that he had spent so much time in the darkness, fighting the darkness, that at some point he realized that he owed it to himself to basically, if he had wasted all that time in the darkness, well, why don't try spending a bit of that time and energy in the light? Like giving yourself a chance. And as simple as that sounds, probably to most people, when I heard that, that was the light bulb in my head that went off like, holy shit. That's it? By the way, I've reached out to, to Daniel. And we do keep in touch every now and then. And I do want to thank him for his courage, his valor. I've told him that. Because, you know, he opened himself raw to the world. And, of course, it wasn't easy for him. Shit, this is not easy for me. Are you kidding me? But it was that courage that he had. You know, probably fearing what I fear, that more people will reject me, just like a lot of people have done in my life. Or that people that thought, oh shit, that guy has his shit together, oh look at him, and now they're finding, oh fuck, he has issues or whatever. Yeah, we all do. Different levels, different layers. But just like a, a song that I found recently says... We all want to be loved. We all want to be found. It's as simple as that. And I guess why I'm sharing this is because, I mean, it's a far more long, longer, complicated story, but last night was a life-changing night in many, many ways. Uh, I did say a lot of things to my sister, 
that were hurtful. But it comes from a place of basically almost 37 years worth of being, being bottled inside. Almost 37 years worth of pure sadness, really, and comprehension, etc. But thanks to this one man, I see it now. Sadly, just a bit too late. Just my... See, I'm trying to fight my, my own condition. I'm trying to apply positive thought behavior here. So basically, I try to negate what I just said about myself. Because what it boils down to also, and my own sister was trying to get me to understand and so was this man. And I just couldn't. And I guess maybe that's what I'm trying to get to others. If I can, just like Daniel did to me. If I can do that for someone, somewhere, whatever, that you're watching this. And what I say gets to you and comes to realize either that you need help or that you know you're not alone. Clearly that there's others that think or feel what you're going through. It can get better. And we all make a lot of mistakes. We all make dumb mistakes. For people with complex mental health issues like me, like most, like a lot of other people, it's very hard. But at least no one's to come to terms with it. And you know, well, let me backtrack. Of course, it's always best to have a mental health professional help you. I'm working on that myself. But for those that can do the journey on their own, it's still not easy. I mean, it was a, it was the most challenging and difficult and painful experience of my life to basically realize Well, not realize your mistakes, because you know what your mistakes have been. But to realize the root cause behind your actions. I'll give you guys an example, and probably this will be the last for my first video. I mean, I'm hoping. Like I said, even if one person gets something from it, and they seek help, or they're able to save a relationship with a loved one, I think then that'll be totally worth it. So I'm hoping for that at least. Anyway, 